सर इंटरनेट में वाइब कोडिंग की बहुत ज्यादा हाइप है एंड वन ऑफ द टूल्स दैट पीपल यूज टू वाइब कोड इज रिप्लेट रिप्लेट एक प्रॉम्प्ट से तुम्हें एक प्रोडक्शन रेडी एप्लीकेशन बना के दे देता है एंड आफ्टर द रीसेंट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एजेंट थ्री एंड द लेटेस्ट अपडेट विद कनेक्टर्स इट इज मच मोर इजियर एंड मच मोर सिंपलर फॉर यू टू बिल्ड अमेजिंग एप्स अब कनेक्टर्स क्या होते हैं एजेंट थ्री एक्चुअली क्या करता है वो सारी चीजें हम डिटेल में डिस्कस करने वाले हैं इस वाली वीडियो में सो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड डू वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल दी एंड आई टॉक अबाउट टू प्रोजेक्ट आइडियाज विच आई फील आर अमेजिंग यू कैन बिल्ड यूजिंग रेपरेट और यू कैन बिल्ड ऑन योर ओन बट रेपरेट से तुम इजिली बना पाओगे एंड देन यू कैन एड मोर फीचर्स ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट एंड मे बी नो वन नोस क्या पता तुम्हारा एक्चुअली एक वाइब कोडेड स्टार्टअप टाइप बन पाए जो तुम देखते हो पीपल आर अर्निंग लाइक टेन थाउजेंड डॉलर्स पर मंथ फाइव थाउजेंड डॉलर्स पर मंथ यू कैन ऑल्सो बी वन ऑफ दोज पीपल ठीक है आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू गिव यूर रोड मैप ऑफ हाउ यू कैन अर्न टेन थाउजेंड डॉलर्स बट इट विल बी अ गाइड हाउ यू कैन यूज रेपलेट टू बिल्ड प्रोडक्शन रेडी एप्स एंड मे बी शेयर विद पब्लिक एंड इफ दे हैव इंटरेस्ट इन परचेजिंग द सब्सक्रिप्शन यू कैन सेल दैट टू सो हाई कैसे निशान चाह Welcome back to the channel. Let's start the video. So, as you can see, when you will go to the homepage, अगर तुम Replit के homepage पे जाते हो, you will find Replit three. यहाँ पे autonomously बहुत सारी चीजें हो जाती हैं. We have already covered this in our previous video. I created an app using like Replit's Agent three, which can run in the background. And there are so many things. अपने आप app testing हो जाती है. इसकी it can test, fix, and repeat. Then you can run for longer. And run for longer का मतलब है you can just leave it and it will create the app. that you want so that is also an amazing feature i have tried it multiple times then agent generation it will automatically like decide kya automate karna hai kaise isko accelerate karna hai kisko delegate karna hai it can create multiple agents in the background as well so yeah that is pretty cool so yeah i think you should definitely try it out but we are not talking about the agent 3 right now i think if you are watching this this video you know what agent 3 is i'm here to talk about the connectors and some project ideas which like came to my mind when i saw this अगर मैं उसको खुद से बनाने जाता तो इट वुड हैव टेकन मी अ लॉन्ग लॉन्ग टाइम बट यूजिंग रेपलेट इट कैन बी डन लाइक इन अ फ्रैक्शन ऑफ दैट टाइम सो व्हाट इज इट यहाँ पर अगर तुम लेफ्ट में देखोगे तो देयर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड इंटीग्रेशन वेन यू सी द इंटीग्रेशन देर आर सो मेनी कनेक्टर्स देर आर सो मेनी एप्स दैट यू कैन कनेक्ट टू डायरेक्टली एंड हाउ कैन यू डू दैट यू जस्ट हैव टू साइन एन सो वेन एवर यू आर इंटीग्रेटिंग एनी एप इफ इवन इफ यू आर यूजिंग एन एट एन जे पी और एनी अदर ऑटोमेशन टू यू नीड टू लाइक क्रिएट अ डेवलपर अकाउंट If you are using any Google app, you will have to go and create a workspace, then create an application, then give multiple accesses. But in Replit, you don't have to do that. You just have to sign in with your Google account, Notion account, any account that you want, and it will do all those things itself. And you don't need to create a developer account separately. You don't need to add any API key. Everything is done using OAuth. So it's very secure. You can see which all uh, like permissions you have given to Replit. and yeah jaise i'll i'll first integrate two things i'll integrate my github and i'll integrate my gmail and notion i'll integrate all these things let's go first of all i'll click on sign in it will take me to the login page i'll authorize repeat integrations and connection successful so my github is connected amazing it's active if i click on manage i can see all the things it has read read pro, uh, like project read user repo call email etc etc all these accesses i can then add a notion i can sign in with notion i'll continue i have given it all the accesses and it is connected successfully i'll also add gmail just to show you guys and that is all. so i have connected three of the apps the two ideas that i had is number one uh, you can use it to review your github code or you can even create Uh, like documentation for your website if you have any new application or new feature that you have released you can create release notes or you can even create uh, how to guide for your particular app or project and i think that is pretty amazing most of us don't like creating readme files or creating documentations or how to docs and i think replit can create an app for us that will do the job second can be done like if i have a lot of emails that come to me every day it can create a to do list for me what are all the tasks that are like due today and yeah replit can create that categorize that and add it to my notion so that's why i have added these three applications we create both the apps simultaneously i'll run both of them so i'll click on create 
a new app pool so it has created perfect now i'll create comprehensive plan it has created the plan connect github using oauth scan and analyze repositories code structure and files air power readme generation automatically how to documentation generate code patterns release node generation from history commits and changes simple dashboards to see blah 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 looks good and i'll ask it to create the entire app it will take 20 minutes so i'll do that and by that by the time this is like happening i'll also give the prompt for the next application i'll open replit again and isbari we'll give the next prompt that we want to build so what i want to do is analyze all my emails and create a to do list in notion which is updated every day with all the tasks that are pending for today for that day go through updates and promotions to to check if any offer or subscription is ending cool so we'll start the chat and we'll create a web app for this as well this is happening i'll help you create an autonomous analysis email it will checking if we have connected to gmail we have connected to gmail i'll check that we have also connected to notion and i'll click on continue with no the connection so these two apps will also get connected so it is asking which notion database or page would you like to add to do list blah 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 or what time of the day so we i'll open notion and i'll create a new database i'll name it tasks and yeah we can just use this so i'll copy this so i've created a new page for it i'll just tell replit tasks and the second one would be 10 am in the morning i'll just say 10 am so these are the these are the two questions if we are not clear we'll just copy the id to that particular page and we'll share that i think this should be the id let's see it will also need integrations from open ai git github obviously because it needs to understand what the code is doing okay daily automation at 10 am gmail integration ai powered analysis notion integration task deduction create the app start building so both of them are working both the like ai agents are working i'll pause the video i'll come back in 20 minutes to see if the apps are ready or not and then i'll share the results with you guys i'll also share the final apps that i've created to you guys so that you can also test it add more features and do whatever you want to do so i am very excited to see the final results let me know if you are too and i'll see you in some time so almost 20 minutes have passed and uh, the first version is almost ready for both the apps for the document generation it which is called git scribe uh, it is testing our agent is testing if the web app is working correctly or not everything is fine or not as i can see there are some issues the text is overflowing at some places and yeah it it will most probably figure out the problem and fix the sol like fix it and the solution will be ready i have integrated deepseek in this one and i have asked 
the agent to integrate deep seek in this one too but the problem is for mail to task one we don't actually have the read access of the mails we can send as many emails as we want but we can't read the emails i think that is a privacy concern so that we cannot do so my idea actually <laughs> was not correct what we can do is we can do one more thing uh, that is we can use an agent to create a particular like job search agent for you where it will go through multiple websites search the latest jobs and send you an email for that particular job if you are a good fit for that particular job it will send you that email and you can go through it it will also create uh, like all the changes that you need to make in your resume and a cover letter for you that you can send and apply using that so we can change it to that one but currently i think let's see if, if it can figure out another way to do the same thing if it cannot which i think will be will not be possible so let's see how the first task the first app is working so it is currently testing i click the documentation generator and i can see progress bar showing it's about 30 percent i'll keep a close eye on it and checking back every second to make sure it's moving along and we'll eventually do so i'm halfway done let's see we'll wait for some time and it is also integrating deep seek so let's see i'll see you guys in a few minutes so it is done there was a small bug that i fixed there are still few bugs that need to be fixed but it can be done easily uh, if i click on generate docs uh, we see this page and we can just click on generate documentation and it will start working on it so it will start creating the documentation for us so this app is working absolutely fine it tested itself multiple times so the agent ran uh, like for a long time tested it itself there were a few other bugs which it fixed and yes now we have a working app on this other hand the second app that we thought of building we hit a roadblock because the fetch gmail api is not like it doesn't have all the sufficient uh, authentication scopes that we need so i think we can't move forward it also gave us three options we can contact replit we can wait for replit to like add this or like alternate up approach we can do it using multiple apis you can do that if you want to there is one more thing we can do if you have a google calendar and if you add a lot of tasks on that google calendar directly you can integrate google calendar on this it will summarize the tasks for you it will take some time to like complete this app i'll add the link to this app in the description if you want to complete it add it in your resume you can do that i did the deep seek integration for us and if you see the gen document generation is complete the rep repository analysis was done code structure was identified it is generating the documentation it will finalize the documentation and it is also showing us how much time is left and i also like the ui pretty much we can change the ui if we want but yeah the, all this actually took less than 20 minutes so i'm pretty impressed so as you can see it has generated all the code the readme file the how to and the release notes as well it took 3 minute 30 seconds we can just download all from here so we can download each file so as you can see the readme file is visible here and we can download all the files as well so yeah i think our task is done so i'll share the link to this app as well you can definitely try it out there are still few bugs that we need to fix as you can see that there is some overflowing bug then there are few buttons which are not working but yeah like 90% of the job is done so yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope you will be building a lot of cool stuff using the connectors there are so many if you use any of these you can like do so many things for example if you have a google drive and you want to like remove the files which are maybe 5 years older and you don't you haven't seen them in the past few months or the few days then you can just access your google drive drive files and folders and like add them to a separate uh, delete now delete later folder and then delete by checking it once so there are so many applications that i can think of i think you'll be able to think of many applications too yeah so the link to it is in the description definitely check out and share all the apps that you have created i'll see you in the next one